Hey guys, so I hope that you're all doing really well. Um, I know I've been a little bit quiet lately. I've just been busy and kind of unmotivated a little bit. I don't really have much to film. Um, I know a lot of you want like makeup videos and stuff, but I have really, really bad acne at the minute, like down the sides of my face, um, on my head hair and stuff. So I just don't really want to do a makeup video yet. Um, it was my birthday yesterday, so I do have a birthday haul to do, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to do that probably Saturday or Sunday, maybe like at the weekend. Um, but I do have one box to do and that is Medusa's makeup for January. Now this came really really late. This literally only arrived the other day So I thought that they maybe weren't sending them to me anymore um, But I think they just maybe got them out late this month. So I am going to show you what is in here um, Now for anyone that hasn't seen me open these before they are super super cheap to America because these are American boxes um, I think I've kind of forgotten now, but I think it's like $16 or something like that, like really cheap. And to the UK, it works out about £20, so still pretty cheap. Um, and I will show you what is in here. Now, it does look a little different than usual. So we have two cards. This one says Beauty Box 2020, 100% um, cruelty free and vegan. And then on the back, it tells you what we have in the box. And then we also have this little booklet, which says... Um, well, it says spring 2020 and then it's got loads of different stuff. I don't know if this is what's coming out in spring 2020. I don't know if it's what is in the boxes. I'm not too sure, but um, it does say like perfume oil and stuff, which is cool. And it also says um, like nail varnishes and things. So if they are coming in the boxes, that would be really cool, but I have no idea. So anyway, let's just get straight into it. So the first thing we have is an eyeshadow so this one is called totally baked and it's in the color bitchin i don't know why they have like kind of rude names on these i don't really like that um i don't know i'm not sure how i feel about it anyway it's a very very nice color has a little protector thing on top and this is what it looks like. It looks very powdery, but it's like a really pretty pale gold colour. So, that is what that's looking like. It's definitely a very nice kind of inner corner colour. You could also use that under your brows as well, I guess, if you're more tanned. But that's our first item, anyway. I just thought, I think it tells you on this card, oh no it doesn't, I was going to say it tells you usually how much the box is worth, um, let's see if I'm any good at maths, I might have done that all wrong but I'm pretty sure the things in this box are worth $42 so that is really good for what you pay for it, anyway next we have a liquid eyeshadow in the colour Grace and let's see what this is okay so it's like a really kind of unusual deep purple kind of color it's got um like a blue shimmer running through i'm not sure how i feel about liquid eyeshadows i don't really get how you use them but let's see what it comes out like oh it's a lot more sheer than I thought it would be. It's kind of like... I don't know. It's a lot paler than in the bottle. And it is really pretty. I just don't get liquid eyeshadow. Like, are you supposed to blend it? I'm going to assume not because I'm just literally wiping it off. I don't know. I don't understand. Maybe you could use it as an eyeliner or something. The more you put on, the more it does build up, but I don't know. Not sure how I feel about the liquid eyeshadow, but that is our second thing anyway. Next, we have a tinted lip balm from Lovebird, and it's in the colour Smile. Um, this looks really, really dark to me. 
I am not a massive fan of tinted lip balms purely because I feel like they're quite messy. Usually the colour isn't very precise. It's a very dark kind of berry colour. I'm not sure if that's how it's going to come out. Let's see. Wow, okay. Way too much just went on my hand, but it definitely comes out like a very bright pinkish kind of colour. Smells amazing though. Kind of like vanilla. Super pretty, but just very, very bright. Um, so there is that. And then the last item we have is definitely my favourite item. And it is Lovebird Pina Colada Coconut Oil Mascara Melt. So basically it is this tub, which is 30 millilitres of coconut oil. And it's Pina Colada scented and what you're supposed to do smells amazing is I'm assuming scoop a bit out and rub it on your eyes to remove mascara could have been a little more full I feel like not loads of product in there because it has like this dip in the base as well um I'm not sure how much you really need to use to get your mascara off but smells really nice so I'm gonna kind of just oh it's a lot harder than I thought it would be maybe you need to kind of melt it a little bit but I'm gonna just get this little tiny oh it's not focusing this little bit here and actually you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get a waterproof mascara I'm gonna put it on my hand let it dry and then we will test this out and see how good this mascara melt really is. So, I mean, not great, but this is our patch of this like aqua lash waterproof mascara. So I'm gonna just go and wait and leave this to dry for a second and then we will use this on there and see what happens. Okay, so this is definitely dry now so I'm gonna put this on here oh apparently it doesn't want to go on there there we go I've got a little like cotton pad thing here to wipe it off within a second but let's just see how this works so try and see if I can show you guys definitely really melts into like a, a nice oil obviously because it's coconut oil and it is coming off but you do need to kind of rub quite a lot let's see if I wipe that now if it all comes off oh okay yeah pretty good still a little tiny bit left on there but nothing major also smells absolutely amazing like pineapple and coconut um, so yeah, that was our Medusa's makeup box for January. So just to quickly go over the four things again, there was the Pina Colada Mascara Remover, the dark kind of pink lip balm, the purple sparkly liquid eyeshadow, and the gold powder eyeshadow. So like I said, all of those, they're really cheap to America and they are pretty cheap to the UK as well if it's the kind of makeup that you're into. I will put all the info down below for them in case you want to go and check them out and I'll put the proper prices there as well because I am useless and I forgot how much they are. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. If you did, please subscribe. Like I said, I'm going to do my birthday haul on Saturday or Sunday the weekend time um, so hopefully you watch that one or subscribe for that one. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Bye guys.